What's up, guys? Desert B here, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We did beat Ranrock last episode, but we haven't quite finished this game yet. We haven't done our owls, for one thing. We haven't finished the school year out, and we haven't seen the end credits. So we still have a few things to finish up. And what I saw online is that you need to be a level 34. So I'm hoping that that's correct before you can actually take your OWLs. So um, I've kind of been doing some grinding and I'm almost at a 34. So I'm going to just finish up a, a few side quests with you guys and uh, then finish out this game. I, this Thank will you for coming. likely be the last episode, but we'll see. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with Sebastian? He's been expelled and will soon face trial at the ministry. Although Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels, as much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions. It will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the Undercroft without Sebastian feels wrong. I know what you mean. He deserves to be punished. Yeah, I know what you mean. I never thought things would end this way. I hope we did the right thing. I hope so too. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. Anne was shocked too, but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. <laughs> she does. Sebastian was my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown close, that you were helping each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant means a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. Oh. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. In the shadow of friendship complete. Let's see if that bumps me up to... Not quite. So I'm still just a 33, but just barely. Um... What I've kind of found to be the best way to level up was, well, for one thing, I went to the, um, what do they call them? The dueling, the, gosh, what's the name of them? The, the dueling rings or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? I had actually never been to those before, so that was actually kind of cool. And, um, let's see. I think just to bump us over that 34 mark, we just need to find something... Uh, I don't know, something small. So what I've kind of been doing was I could do these. I could locate pages. I could just go back to the dueling arenas. Uh, yeah, there's definitely plenty to choose to do. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most the, pleased to be included. The pages uh, that you can collect are like 80 points of XP. I want to say the Merlin trials are 50. And um, we'll see how much these are. And then, of course, you can get tons, like hundreds of XP from the dueling arenas. So, I don't know. If this thing doesn't uh, do it for me, then maybe we'll just go jump in a dueling arena and uh, finish off the last little bit of uh, XP of that we need. Professor Shaw mentioned. Let's see. So, twist it around this way. I still feel like the end to Sebastian's quest was just so sad. But... Plus 80. But that didn't do it. I wish there was like a number readout so I knew how much more until we're... to 34. Oh, darn it. Wrong guy. Ah, there you are. Uh, sorry. I actually want my broom. 
I also thought that the Ranrock fight was really cool. I liked that uh, it was very unexpected. I did not expect him to turn into a, an, a whole dragon. That was really cool. Uh, the fighting was really fun, too. I liked how, you know, there was some skill that you had to have to it. It wasn't just, like, button mashing. I kind of was expecting... I think what I would have liked is for him to go back to his goblin form. Or maybe, like, start in his goblin form. And then... So that, you know, we would have been able to fight him in both forms. I think that would have been kind of cool. But overall, I thought it was really fun. Ah, still not there. What else can I do, man? I mean, should we just go back to the arena? Here's another page. Well, let's make our way back to the arena. Where's the arena at anyways? It's somewhere way up here. So it's right here, battle arena. We'll just like pick up pages along the way. And if we're not to level 34 by the time we get there, then we'll go into the battle arena. I feel like it's like, we're almost there. But yeah, overall, I've had so much fun with this game. It didn't feel um, repetitive. They, they waited until well into the game to unlock a lot of stuff. And I think that that made it keep feeling like fresh. So I really liked that. There are a lot of enemies in the game. Rebellion. I don't want to pet the cat. I want the page. So go away, kitty. The squib cottage. Aha! There, there it is. So, let's go into the quest log here. Weasley's watchful eye. So I need to go talk to Professor Weasley. Let's go into here. I got something. Field guide pages. I got a Highland Explorer cloak. Oh, by the way, the outfit that I'm wearing, I got from doing a, a quest for some girl in Hogwarts. Her Diana. Well, that's not what I actually... Uh, the look that I have on is... Uh, this white one. Herodiana's cape. Which I think it looks pretty cool. And then I added this little scarf thing to it because I like the little symbol that's on the chest. Which is this one, the stone necklace. It was time for a change. An end of the school year outfit. So let's go up to the school and speak to Professor Weasley. Weasley? Is this the right... Maybe this one. Wow, I can't believe there's still flu flames within Hogwarts that I haven't unlocked. <laughs> That's insane. I did do a fair bit of like flying around and fast traveling around in this game. So I guess uh, maybe doing on foot exploration would have given you a more, uh, I don't know. You would have gotten more familiar with the layout of the land for one thing. And you probably would have found more secrets. The world's just so big. I didn't want to just travel everywhere on foot or like on the back of an animal. What was that noise? Did you hear that? That was weird. Well, I'm excited to finish out this school year. It's like in the movies, you know, you, there's always like the big fight or the big whatever happens and then, then the school year it finishes up. And then they all have their little moments and head back to their homes. So I assume that's kind of what they're going for here. There definitely was not a lot of actual in-classroom stuff. So here we go. Let's talk to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me. I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. 
but I can assure you that he would want us to press on and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the Headless Hunt. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been Snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. Oh boy. My assignments are being graded. Let's see what she finds. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Pick up. Dear Professor Weasley, thank you for your owl. I am overjoyed to hear that this most recent crop of seventh years includes a number of students who may be both interested in and well suited for a career at the ministry. Of course, their owls will provide confirmation of the latter, but equally invaluable to our recruitment process is your opinion. You have a unique perspective given your experience with us, and for that I am truly grateful. I look forward to further updates as the term progresses. Respectfully, yours, Minister of Magic. So Weasley's watchful eye is complete. New quest available. New robe available. And some gold. Ooh, interesting to have the curtain above the door like that. So let's uh, let's see what that new quest was. The house cup. Go to the great hall. I should attend the end of the year feast. Oh my gosh, are we already there? What are we gonna wear to the end of the year feast? An unidentified back item, unidentified item. And I don't, was there like anything else that I wanted to finish up? I feel like these are just, you know what like would be fun to finish would be the Dedalian keys. Let me, uh, I don't know, we can wander and see if we can find any more of these keys. Revelia. Um, I only have three I've more. Always said that travel broadens the mind. So I do feel like they're gonna be harder to find. And then that can be the last thing that we do before we go to the end of the year feast. Oh, cool. What is this place? Well, there's so many cool things in here. I wish I could like take some of this stuff and put it in my room of requirement. This one is this one. Revelio. I was like, did I get that chest? But yeah, I did. So, um, let's see. Yeah, let's look for the keys. And then that can be the last uncle thing that we do. His best. He often asks after you and his owls. Oh yeah, we helped that girl's uncle out when I was trying to get my XP and stuff built up. Before I really realized that the best way to build up your XP is just to go to that battle arena. Which was really fun and you can do it as many times as you want and still get the XP for it. 
think I heard a key. These are going to be a little hard to search for. We got a, oh, we got a, a level two unlock here, which means that I have not explored this area yet. There it is. Okay, let's see. What was that? Flying books. There's another level lock. But specifically, where are the keys? This is level lock two? Alohomora. Oh, I keep, like, moving. There we go. We got a hat. A sheepskin hat. And... Are these Egyptian carvings? Oh my gosh, there's a secret door here. Are you serious? I don't have Depulso? Oh, I have these uh, unforgivable curses and stuff on here from when I was in the battle arenas, which I didn't actually use. Oh, there's a cave? Depulso puzzle room? No. No, no, no. I just need a key. There, oh, there we go. I can't believe that there's still so many rooms that I haven't explored. Professor Benz, uh... I was baffled by your recent observation that students seem to be rather lethargic. I can confidently say that I've not seen evidence of such lethargy in my own class. <laughs> so the story with Professor Benz, he's a ghost and it's said in the books that he fell asleep in the teacher's lounge, I think, and just like died and then never woke up but never really knew that he died either he just got up and went right back to teaching and he's been doing it ever since I swear when I was in Professor Benz's class that I heard a key but Rebellion. it's definitely not in here Let's go up. Maybe it was up above. I do specifically remember seeing a key when... Uh, oh, I've already gotten this one. I remember seeing a key when I was running around as Professor Black, and I did not interact with it because we were on a mission. So that one's probably still hanging around. Oh my gosh, finally. It's having such a hard time finding these things. Where are you going? It's an outrage. No one makes a fool of Ferdinand Octavius. Okay. I still have this is only the first one that I found. I still have two more to find. I wish that there was a system like with the map out in the world where you could see which like areas of the castle you're still missing them from but uh i i don't see one so i'm having like a really hard time finding them i'm just kind of using like a guide to check uh where like which areas they're in but there's also no way to check and see which ones you've actually already gotten so it's been uh, a process
Oh, there's probably going to be a key in here because I just unlocked that blue flame, which means I haven't been here yet. And there's a page. So let's take a look. Levioso. Oh, wrong. Yeah. Those are trimmers. Let's. Oh, I hear the key. Levioso. Hold on. But do we see it? Hold on. Where did it... Where's it sound? Here it is. Wait! Wait, where did it go? Okay, I see its tail. Hold on. Why are they so fast? I don't think it went... Oh, here it is. Alright, this is a uh, second one, so I just need to find one more. Come on. Brilliant. There we go. Okay, one more. I do think, yeah, I did get one key here. Marvelous, one the faculty tower. I've never seen the headmaster so regal. But I think that there's two here. And then there's also one in the clock tower, which uh, I maybe missed those ones. So we're going to just Scrum do a quick. Carry out the oh, look at this. A level lock three. Hello, Got the green. Oh well. <laughs> okay. What the heck is in here? Probably just a bunch of loot. We can weld potion. Okay, there's some... Talk to Pippin about the below. How fitting it would be if the key to my cure lay in the obscure. What? What's going on? What is that about? Let's grab this chest. Revelia. I... Oh, wow. Is this a... Big old chest. An unidentified item. I doubt that the key is going to be in a locked door like this, though. Although, who knows? I don't... I don't know. And we were only in here, I think, the one time... So it's definitely possible that we... Ah, look at... Nope. Okay, so we definitely got both of the keys here. Let's try in the clock tower. We may have missed one here, but where... The question is, is where's the chest? That's the easiest way to know. Hospital wing. No, I think... I need to find the chest. Oh, I hear it. Okay, this will be the final one. We just have to find it. Revelia. There's a page. Incendio. Oh. <laughs> Not quite. How do I get up there, though? I can hear it up there, taunting me. Oh, there's a moth puzzle. Shoot, where are the stairs? A 
Hello, Hamora. Here we go. Yeah, this is... Oh, perfect. Staircase. This is where we did that... Um, that little combat challenge with the other students and then we never we finished it and then we never came back okay let's listen is that it yes where are you going it's going up um okay I did not see where it went, so I hope that the chest Rebellion. is like right there. Nice. This will be our last one. Yes. The Dalian keys. So let's go to the um, my dorm and put these in that chest. Shall quests and then. The Dalian keys return to my house chest and deposit the keys. Yeah, I don't need any of that stuff. All right, let's go back to my room. Return to my my dorm. I definitely feel like during all the promotional stuff, you know, and like the trailers and people talking about houses and the dorm rooms and kind of like what the dorm rooms were going to look like and the different aesthetics and ambience and stuff of each dorm room. Like, that was all really cool and, you know, got the hype up and stuff. But in reality, I've spent literally a grand total of like 90 seconds in my, in my dorm room and my common room combined. Like, just spent literally no time at all in there. Which is fine, you know. There's really not much to do in there. And then there's just things that, like, the game doesn't permit you to do. Um, for example, you can't actually, like, sit in your in any furniture. So, like, you can't just, like, chill. Fat lady. Wow, look at that. We only would need three more pages to complete the pages in Hogwarts. That's it. I'm making good progress with these tokens. So I did hear that there was like a little glitch where some people would put the tokens in and they weren't able to get the chest open. I hope that that doesn't this happen here. The keys challenge is coming along nicely. I've been, I guess I've just been holding on to these things instead of placing them. Another house token for the house chest. Filling it up. That's it. I'm making good progress with these tokens. And from what I've heard, you get Here like a go. super sweet robe. Token. Time to see what's inside. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. I thought Ramrock stood much of a chance. Just a lot of bluster and noise. Okay. Wow, look at that. The Gryffindor Thanks relic. Thanks to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. <laughs> Nice. Okay, let's put that on. Um, gear. I guess it's just a look. It's not an actual item. Yeah. Okay. Just an appearance. Wait, where did it go? Legendary. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Look at me. Looking good. Oh, and look, I, I like the way this scarf actually goes around the neck of that thing. That's really cool. Nice. Uh, let's see. Should we change our other, like this part of our uniform? Or does what we have on match just fine? I don't know. Um... Uh, too much red. 
Probably still too... Well, that's actually not bad. This is a lot of red still. You go traditional, but I don't like that. What did I have on... Yeah, I had on this before. Which kind of like... The blue kind of matches well with the shoulders, I guess. Maybe we'll just keep this. Maybe that'll be my final look for... For the end of school feast. Speak with Nelly. Who's Nelly? Did Nelly? Oh, I guess Nelly's the very first person who gave us the Dedalian Keys quest. So yeah, let's go talk to her. I really like this robe. It's like shiny. Okay, that was worth. Must we go back to practicing our skin? Finding some of those keys would have been quite a challenge to do it on your own, though. I I did end up using just a guide to sort of say like which area they're all in and. Once you get to the area, you can hear them. So that's kind of how I did that. Wasn't too bad. I still wish that there was a, um, you know, when you zoom all the way out on the world map and you can kind of get a rundown of each section of the map. And there is one of those. Wait, which way am I going? There is one of those, but the Dedalian keys are not part of the completionist lists for each area of the castle, which makes it really hard to search for these things because you don't know where you've already gotten them and where you're still missing them from. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? We followed all of them. Wow. You turned out to be something of a hero, didn't you? Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. Nice. Now I have a sweet robe. Quest complete. That was a game long quest. So let's go and go to the Great Hall and... Do I actually get to take my OWLs or uh, is that just implied? House cup. Or was when Professor Weasley looked at my guidebook, was that kind of the equivalent to that? I don't know. Where I still feel so lost in this castle. Especially when I was running around looking for keys, it was like, if I actually had to attend classes in this castle, I would never be anywhere on time. I can't even remember where, like, super common places are, like the Great Hall or the Entrance Hall or the Central Chamber or Central Hall or whatever. Here we are. This looks familiar. So many doors. Oh, this is our this is our owls. There's a suit of armor having an altercation in the background. <laughs> okay, Professor Ronin. Oh boy. Uh, I can't think of what her name is. But it's the beast class. <laughs> that was definitely a fun class. Oh, a boggart. Is it her father? Wait. Or maybe it's the person that cursed her father. Oh. Nice going natty. <laughs> I would have liked to see what he saw.
time for the feast. There's Poppy and Natty. And guess who won't be here? Sebastian. <laughs> This is where the game, well, not started, but where our Hogwarts journey started. This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. And now we can finish the loyalty Woo! of Helga Hufflepuff, yeah! the wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw, hey! and the ambition and so, the winner of this year's House Cup. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. It's me. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits, hmm, I'd say, 100 points to their house. Wow. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, <laughs> he does not. Yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. But he's a pushover. I suppose we have our winner. Wow. And that's the official end of the game. There's the credits. That was awesome. And honestly, that was such a cool way to end the game too, because <laughs> wearing that cloak for the end credits was hilarious. It worked out great. <laughs> you hear some of the musical notes from Harry Potter in the theme here. That's really cool. I thought the game was really fun. I had a lot of fun playing this game. And like I was saying earlier, it didn't didn't feel repetitive or anything like that. Um, the combat and the fighting was really fun. And because you had to, you know, use spells sp like specific spells to break the shields um and then you always had those fighting uh feats or whatever that they wanted you to do during your combat like it just always made it fun and different and kind of kept you from just doing the same thing over and over again which i i know i did really favor those uh damage curses or spells or whatever um confringo and you know, Bombarda, but still, when they would have those on the screen, like, I did try to do them, for the most part, and it made it a lot of fun. And there's so, the world is huge, there's so much to explore. And then, of course, like, if you're a Harry Potter fan from the books or the, the movies, I just think that there's so much in the, in the game that is, like, a nod to... The movies, it makes it really fun when you're like, oh my gosh, that's kind of, you know, like a nod to this or that or whatever. Like, there was a couple of uh, Follow the Butterflies where Ron in one of the movies, he, when they're supposed to follow the spiders and um, he says something like, why couldn't it have been Follow the Butterflies? Which, uh, what was it? There was a, or even at the end here, when Professor Weasley awarded, was like awarding points or whatever, like that always happened at the end of the movies where, well, almost always, where they'd be like, uh, you know, for some kind of a great feat or bravery or even like when he awarded Neville points for standing up to his own classmates, like just kind of just barely put them over the edge so that they won the cup. So, yeah, that was good. That was good. 
I really felt like, um, I was mentioning this earlier where it's kind of like the promotional stuff and the trailers and whatnot. Like, it seemed like there was going to be an emphasis on your, you know, like what, uh, house you chose is going to affect stuff with the story or like you're, you want to pick which, uh, a house that has like a common room that you like. But like, honestly, like I said, I spent almost no time in the common room or the, or my dorm. So it really didn't seem to make much of a difference at all in the end. I know that there's specific quests that only each house gets. Like for example, Hufflepuff apparently goes to Azkaban, which we never did that. And we did the quest with the Headless Hunt, which uh, other houses did not get to do that because we had to start that one off with uh, Nearly Headless Nick, which of course, if you're not in Gryffindor House, you wouldn't be having interactions with Nearly Headless Nick. But for the most part, it didn't seem to affect it, you know, the story or the gameplay really all that much. And there's really no reason to be in your, your, your common room. There's just like not a lot going on in there and there's nothing, nothing really that you can do. But I really liked the, you know, all the quests that you could do. It seemed like all of them were just a, just slightly different enough so that it was kind of, you know, fun and something exciting and new every time. Especially the ones with your classmates, with Sebastian and Natty. Those two being, like, your main friends, it seemed like. And... Well, I didn't find... Well, I really liked the quest with Sebastian. I just wish that there would have been a better outcome because it just made you an accomplice to murder. No matter what you did, You that's that was going to be the outcome. And I don't think that there was going to ever be a way to save Sebastian from going that route. Of course, like we could have chosen not to turn him in and then he would have still been at school, but things would have still not been the same. And it just wouldn't have felt right to do that, I guess. To me, like in this playthrough anyways, it didn't feel right to not turn him in. And I'm glad that Natty got some closure to her quest line and the situation with her father. But I really found Poppy's quest to be the most fun. Uh, just like, you know, befriending her at first where she's kind of just like, really all about animals but then by the end you've made like a really cool friend and the snidget quest was really fun and getting to interact with the centaurs because at first when i first saw the centaurs they totally ignored you and i was a little bit like hello why are they like not even acknowledging that i'm here because in the movie you know they did and even in the books one of them became a teacher so yeah i thought that was cool Centaurs are funny anyways. I will never forget in the books where they just like over and over again, it felt like they were saying Mars is bright tonight. <laughs> that's so funny. But they, uh, they're they supposed to be very wise beings, so that's really cool. By the end of the game, I had forgotten half of my teacher's names because after you do the initial um classroom time with them and then you do their assignments and learn some spells it's like you're just on your own and you don't interact with them really at all for the rest of the game so like professor ronan i totally forgot what his name was i think we didn't interact with him like at all after the first couple of hours in the game and then professor sharp same i don't really remember interacting with him too much at all Professor uh, Onai, now she was Natty's mom, so we had a little more interaction with her, and it was a little more to, a little easier to remember her because of that little connection there. But uh, yeah, there was less like in school stuff than I had expected there to be in the game after you get through like the initial part of learning your spells. So. I think they maybe could have done more with that. Uh, you know, had little, a little more focus on your schoolwork. Because after you learn your initial spells, you're pretty much just like not on school grounds pretty much at all. It felt like you go there to meet up for a main quest or a side quest and then you're immediately back off campus. 
So, I think maybe they could have made it more like a school year and had a little more check-in with your professors. And then, of course, there was some quests that I thought were going to go somewhere that really didn't, like the one with Gareth. He, um, we helped him out a couple of times, and then after that one last meeting with him, I don't remember, like, did I say something that put an end to the quest line, or did it just end there? I'm not really sure, but that one didn't really go anywhere, which was kind of weird, like, it just abruptly stopped. I really liked the, the, there was a couple like treasure map quests that we did. There was one that I never ever figured out, but I did do a couple of them and I thought those were really fun. Like having to, and like, they did not help you out either. Like, you know, some games it'll be like, you know, here's your hints and your clues, but also here's the pin on your map for the exact location of where you're going to. Well, not in this game. They gave you the clues and they were like, use your treasure map to find the location and that was it that was all they gave you so there was one that i was doing where like i made it to exactly where we like this the second to last step and then it was like okay so the final place should be straight south from here and i like flew around on my broom and ran around on foot like forever trying to find the location i could not find it finally i did come across it it was like a I don't know, like an enemy camp or something. It was where I was rescuing that one girl's uncle. I forget the girl's name, but her uncle had been kidnapped by some goblin loyalists. And I couldn't find the, like the outpost or whatever for, and it was just interesting because I kept thinking like, wow, they really, they didn't put a pin on the map to show me where to go. Like nothing, you're just on your own. I definitely think there's a lot more stuff that I could do, uh, you know, in the game. And especially with the the room of requirement, I did do some, you know, customization and whatnot. But I think you could do a lot more, especially with your vivariums, because you find all of those things that you can place in your vivariums. And I found a lot, but I didn't really put any of them in there. But I've seen some people going like like Animal Crossing style and making crazy elaborate setups with their vivariums. I would love to do that, but I would need a tutorial because I don't know how to even envision that stuff. But overall, I thought this was a really fun game. There's even some like replay ability to it even because I would be curious to see what it would be like to be in another house and get some of those quests that are specific to each house and even i would even like to replay it and just have a different like a different honor system like maybe do all of the unforgivable curses and actually use them or um try different things with sebastian's quest and see if there's any different outcome to that i think like um I would like to maybe focus more even on building the friendship with Ominous because I really liked Ominous' character. I just thought he was pretty cool in the end and not like a psycho like Sebastian. So I definitely can see myself playing, probably not like on camera on my channel or anything, but just for the fun of it, just in my downtime or whatever, just kind of playing around with the game and going through another playthrough, like making another character maybe for... A different house i could definitely see that okay well these credits are incredibly long so i'm gonna skip the credits and see if there's like anything after the fact quest complete we got the house cup and then it does just sort of put you back in your common room this, uh, this makes like what four times or so that we've ever been into our common room so it's actually interesting that you can continue playing so uh, maybe this is the Zelda player in me, but it's common, it's more n normal for me, I guess, that after you've done the very last thing, such as like get your house cup, then when you load your game back in after you've seen the credits, then you go back to just before you got the house cup. So like in Zelda, it's always 
you go up, you beat Ganon, then you get your end credits, and then when you reload your game, it's right back to just before you beat Ganon. So you can never really play after you fully, fully beat the game. But in this game, you actually can. I don't know what there would be to do after this. I guess just explore more and finish up quests and... I don't know. It'd be kind of cool, I guess, if you got to see everybody going to the Hogwarts Express and uh, started on their journeys back home, but it's really quiet in here, almost like everybody is gone. In fact, it's completely empty in here. Oh, here they are. Okay. So, yeah, I guess you could just continue playing and finishing up quests and doing whatever you like. But this has been such a fun series, you guys. I really appreciate all of the, you know, support you've shown my channel since I started this series. And I hope that you stick around for more after this. Let me know. You guys can always, um, you know, leave comments on my videos. I try to reply to all the comments on my videos. Uh, if you, there's like specific games you'd like to see me play in the future. Um, I'll definitely take your suggestions into consideration. Of course, up next, if you've been watching any of my other playthroughs, we're going to be playing Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom here in about, so let's see, 15 days, I think is what the count is down to. So I do hope that you'll come around for that. And with that, I do think that this is the official end to our Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. I know I did. And thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And come back next time for more. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. You can now join on YouTube and get early access to videos and see members-only community posts. Can't wait to see you there.